All right. So that was uh, the preamble to tonight's podcast. Let me move on. Did you see this thing yesterday on NBC and MSNBC when one of the uh, well-known reporters for that network, those two networks, interviewed one of the dismissed jurors, a woman, young woman who came outside the courtroom and was interviewed by, um, oh, who was it? I forget his name. doesn't matter. But anyway, um, the woman's name is Kara McGee. Um, she's a woman who was dismissed from the prospective jury pool uh, for job-related reasons. And she told MSNBC that it was her word jarring to see Trump in person. I, I understand this. Now, you know, this rotten orange Nazi dictator wannabe is facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records in this case. That's why I refuse to call this a hush money case. This is no more of a hush money case than I'm a Christian priest. You know, it is a fraud case. It's a criminal trial that is ready to commence. It has commenced, at least the jury selection, against this bastard. But anyway, Kara McGee said she guessed she was seated about 30 feet from this slobby bastard all day on Monday. And she said this, quote, I had never seen him in person before, you know. And you see someone blown up so larger than life on the media for so many years, to see them in person is pretty jarring. You get the sense that this is just another guy. And also, he sees me talking about him, which is bizarre, end quote. Um, <laughs> she said that when she received her summons, she had no idea it would be for the Trump uh, trial. She added this, quote, And then I get here yesterday, and there's a massive line of Trump protesters and counter-protesters, and our holding room had something like 250 people in it, so I assumed that's why we were here, end quote. Um, now, Trump's attorney, Todd Blanchet, Blanchet, is how you pronounce it, Blanchet, uh, he has pressed nearly every potential juror about their opinion of Trump. And somebody writing at Huff, uh, Huffington Post said, um, who was in the courtrooms, uh, in the courthouse, in, in, you know, in the actual room where these uh, questions were going on, she described the makeup of jurors so far as politically mixed and mild, end quote. But the quote that got me, and it was a, a much longer interview with Ryan, what's his name? He, he does a lot of work for MSNBC. But the witness, the dismissed, uh, the potential juror, I should say, who was dismissed uh, because she just couldn't do it, um, she revealed something that I think so many Trump supporters are not aware of. They, they see Trump up on a stage. They see his blown up, bloated face on television, his bloviating bullshit when he is giving a speech. But when you actually come across this bloated son of a bitch, you see somebody who is a decrepit, failing, flailing, old, rotting from the inside, creep. And all of a sudden, that orange, you know, fake tanned idiot that we all see on television, that creep kind of deteriorates into the little slob bastard that Trump really is. And But isn't that true of, of, of all dictator wannabes when they don't have the podium, when they don't have the microphone, when they're not on television or on radio? Uh, as so many of them were during the, you know, the 30s and the 40s, so on and so forth. But w when when they're actually right there, you see that they are stupid. They don't make any sense in what they say. Um, they say bullshit to a far, far greater degree than your average politician. They don't make any sense in what they say. And Trump is at the absolute peak of that. He's a blithering idiot. And yet... The Christian devils in this country are absolutely, absolutely 
enthralled with this son of a bitch. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.